Hello, today's video is all about checking the health of your hard drive, particularly your Macintosh HD disk. What we're going to do is we're going to use Disk Utility, located in your Applications Utilities folder, to help ensure that your disk is in fully working order. Now if you open up Disk Utility within the Utilities folder, you'll be given a cool preference pane. Now if you select Macintosh HD, and select the first aid tab at the top, you will have verified disk permissions and verified disk. Now, verified disk permissions will ensure that the correct files have the correct permissions, such as read only, write only, or both, and verified disk will ensure that the disk itself is in perfect health. So let's do that. Let's select verify disk permissions. Now what it will do is it will scan through your disk and ensure that all the system files will have the correct permission. For example, if a certain file needs to have a read-only permission, a write-only permission, or any combination of the two. Now this will take a couple of minutes depending on how big your hard drive is. It currently says time remaining less than a minute, so we'll let that work. Right, what it's done is given you a long list of all the files it knows have got the wrong permission. These are typically system files. You can browse through the list if you want. Now what you need to do is you need to repair them to ensure that they have the correct permission. Now this will ensure that your system files will have the correct permissions and will work correctly. Simply click the repair disk permissions button and once again let it run. This is generally a lot quicker because it's only got to change a couple of settings. Now you really probably won't notice much of a difference in the background but it will make sure that your Mac runs smoothly. For example if it wants to write to a file that has a read only permission well then it's going to cause a problem. So let that run, you need to check it every couple of sort of months, I do it when I tend to have a problem, uh, but then just let it go and once it's done you'll, you'll have a nice message saying this permissions repaired. Okay, permissions is complete. Now that's the sort of the quick one, you can re-verify re it if you want. But now what we're going to do is we're going to verify the disk. Verifying a disk is again very simple, simply press the verify disk button. Now it may say that your computer will become unresponsive or slow, now the reason for this is it will be checking certain areas of the disk as it's using it. It's a bit sort of sensitive to change, so it may sort of crash out but all you've got to do is let it run. So press the verify disk button and it will whirl away. Now this will check the majority of your disk, there will be certain sectors it can't check Due to, due to the fact that your Mac is running. Uh, if you really want to do this, you can actually boot up and check it, check your disk um, during the boot up phase, although that's a different video. So once again, let this run and let it verify your volumes. Right, now it's found a couple of errors. Now this is quite interesting. I wasn't actually expecting any problems. The error says it needs to be repaired from the recovery HD. It's a slightly more problem. What you've got to do is you've got to hold down the command and R key. And then when you see the logo, you can actually read on this thing. So I can press OK. Now, if you don't have as many errors as I do, which is quite unusual, I haven't checked this for a while, you can press the repair disk button and it will actually repair it. Now what this will do is it will ensure the sectors that are in bright red here and all the various different bits are correct. Now there's quite a few problems and quite a few blocks. So I'm going to restart and repair this from startup. But once you hit the repair disk button, it will repair those sectors and your disk will run in a bit more smoothly. Now you can do this with every other disk that you've got. Uh, you can go down, I've got two disks so I'll repeat this on the data disk in a bit. Now once you've done this, you, all the permissions will be correct and all the sectors will be correct so you'll have a fast running Mac. You, know, you need to do this every couple of months. Uh, it's usually quite useful as a result because I've got quite a few errors. So do it when you've got a bit of spare time and when you think you might maybe run it ever so slightly slower than normal. I've checked my disk during startup and then I repaired all the problems and now I rechecked it while I was in my user area. Now as you can see it just says checking, no problems, it's all great. Now an interesting problem that arises when you check your disk during startup is a file called lost and found appears. Now this is all the little bits and bobs of information that it has to reconstruct and re sort of assemble. Now this is a bootable 
disk in that if you right click on it oops right click on it go open with and then go disk image mounter you can actually mount the disk and see what's inside it in this case it's just packages and it's just loads of install packages now I don't really need that I, um, it's pretty fine so what I can do is I can select the file and delete it it will ask for my password which I will type in and hit OK and it delete it and now your disk is fine and ready to use.